back. Okay, thank you. Good afternoon. Before we begin, I want to ask anyone wishing to take photos to please stand behind the black stanchions on either side when you are taking your photos. Please welcome our biggest graduating class ever, the Clearview Class of 2013. Good afternoon. My name is Will Singleton. Please stand and join me for the presentation of the colors in the Pledge of Allegiance. Gentlemen, please remove your hats.
I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please join me for the Texas Pledge. Under the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for the invocation. Please join me for the invocation if you so desire. We gather here today with grateful hearts on this joyous occasion. We are especially thankful for our friends, families, teachers, and administrators who have served as the guiding influence to help us reach our potential best. At Clearview, we have been given the opportunity to learn those things that will forever enrich our lives. Let us face the future with confidence and courage and with willingness to reach out and embrace the unknown. Let us think in terms of all mankind and service to the world. Let us be true to ourselves and faithful to our tiger heritage. Remember with great pride and affection that we are the class of 2013. Thank you and please be seated. Good afternoon, members of the board, administrators, faculty, parents, families, friends, and fellow graduates. My name is Ruben Mejia, and on behalf of the Clearview Class of 2013, I would like to thank all of you for coming this afternoon to honor us at our graduation. We have worked hard to make it to this special moment in our lives. It means so much to have our families and friends here to support us and celebrate with us. And we would also like to give a special word of thanks to our teachers for all their hard work, determination, patience, pleading, and pushing to get us to this event successfully. It is my honor and pleasure to introduce some very special guests who have come to help us celebrate our graduation. At this time, I would like to introduce the members of the Clear Creek Independent School District's Board of Trustees. Please stand as I call your name. Ms. Ann Hammond, President. Ms. Wynne Weber, Vice President. Ms. Paige Rander, Secretary. Mr. Ken Balaker, Trustee. Dr. Laura DuPont, Trustee. Mr. Charles Pond, Trustee. Ms. D. Scott, trustee. It is my pleasure to recognize our special guest from the Education Support Center, Dr. Greg Smith, superintendent of schools. Dr. Stephen Ebell, deputy superintendent. and Dr. Alex Torres, Assistant Superintendent of Secondary Education. I would like to introduce the members of the Clearview High School Administration who will be participating in today's ceremony. Mr. Michael Houston, Principal. Ms. Cassie Wiley, Assistant Principal. 
Ms. Karen Seabung, lead counselor. And Mr. Mark Hobson, counselor. At this time, I am pleased to introduce our superintendent of school, Dr. Greg Smith. Thank you, good afternoon. Y'all look pretty dry, outstanding. If you plan on attending the Clearbrook ceremony this night, uh, A through K will be here first at six o'clock, then we'll follow up with another ceremony at 8 p.m. with the um, L through Z. But congratulations, Clearview Tigers. Uh, we are so, so very proud of you. You know, as superintendent, I have had the opportunity to witness great life-changing and life-saving events that take place at Clearview High School. Clearview is a place to become, it's a place to belong, and it's a place to leave very, very strong. Clearview High School has a beautiful soul, indeed. I don't think I'm biased when I say that if you have not attended a Clearview graduation ceremony in the past, you are in for an amazing treat tonight, and it's a great experience. It is by far one of my favorite days of the year to see students who have turned obstacles into opportunities and together have created an exceptional place to learn. The Board of Trustees and people on this stage have chosen education as our mission in life and have done so because today is why we do what we do. And we do it with heart, mind, and soul. We do it for you. I think you would agree the staff here at Clearview truly has your best interests at heart. They really do. They're great, great people. They have been here to lend you a hand, to help you up, an ear when you needed to be heard, and a hug or a handshake to celebrate even the smallest achievements. I'm sure our former teacher and friend, Don Mize, is looking all over us now saying, well done, class of 2013. Don loved these ceremonies as much as I do, and the folks on this stage love Don as well. You know, I think Robert Frost actually said it best when he said, there are three words I can sum up everything that I've learned in life. He said, it goes on. It really does. Life goes on. Yes, life goes on, and although people come and go in our lives like the wind, Memories remain forever if you open up your heart. Today is also the last graduation ceremony for my friend Karen Seabon, who has given every fabric of her life to the students at Clearview. And now Ms. Seabon has promised me that she will not go far, and I'm going to hold her to that. Right, Karen? Okay. This is also a very, very special afternoon for your parents and family and friends. So please take a few moments this weekend and thank those in your life who have helped you arrive to this very, very special day. And I'm certain that this chapter you're about to close is met with some apprehension. As some of you may not know what door you will open next, I challenge you to approach this uncertainty with the same resolve and rigor that you've demonstrated your most trying times in high school. You may not know it at this very moment, or you may not even know it tomorrow, but you do have what it takes to succeed inside you. If you've ever bled, if you've ever sweated some, if you've ever cried, you have what it takes because that's what it takes to survive and you all are survivors. Come to think of it, thank you, over here on the left, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> amen. Okay. Come to think of it, just by being here, you know life can be crazy, it can be messy, and full of dark shadows along the way. You also must know that a shadow cannot exist without light. Today, you are the light. Among this storm and this unbelievable weather throughout the course of the weekend, you are the light. So go forward and light your light because life does go on. Congratulations, class of 2013. I am so very proud of you.
Hi, my name is Hollywood Martinez. When I became a part of Clearview, I was very nervous but relieved because I knew I had a great opportunity. Throughout high school, I jumped from high school to high school. Ninth grade, I was a Deer Park Deer. Tenth grade, I was a Dickinson Gator. And the first semester of my junior year, I was a large, I was at a large high school in, the di in this district. My grades were below average. I wasn't trying to be a nuisance, but I stood up for what I thought was right. I have always been against the school system and I don't agree with how my, many teachers treat their students. But most of your rights are stripped away as soon as you walk through those doors. You expected to represent at that school in a positive way and if you don't, you are punished or frowned upon. Also, the click separation in schools is ridiculous. My luck kicked in during my second semester of my junior year. I got the opportunity to attend Clearview. My nerves were all jumpy and I was very curious about how the teachers were going to act. Many schools have a college mentality and push you until you stress yourself out, until you have breakdowns at a young age. A Clearview accepted me with open arms and I got a chance to meet people before I went to work so I could get used to my environment and know and know who I'm working with. I became friends with a lot of students who attended Clearview. One of them became a best friend. I also became best friends with one of the guys that started around the same time as I did. After that, things just started falling into place. I started becoming friends with everyone. All the teachers started go doing all they could to help me pass. I got out of school early, got myself a job. Last but not least, I passed my junior year with flying colors. At the beginning of senior year, I didn't have luck to start out at Clearview, so I had to start out at another high school where I had my worst experience in high school career. Finally, I went back to Clearview. I had talked so highly about Clearview that I even got three of my friends to transfer with me. It's been awesome. What I have learned from all the school hopping is no matter what's going on in that, time, in that point in time, take care of your business and accomplish what needs to be done. Only, only then will you come out on top in the long run. Hi, my name is Kendra Sprouse. I never thought that this day would come to stand here after not only 12, but 13 years of school. And know that I've accomplished great things. I wouldn't have been able to do that if it wasn't for clear. The one school that won't let you give up because they care. Before Clearview. <laughs> Before Clearview, graduating meant nothing to me. Dropping out seemed easier to me because no one else cared if I graduated or not. Once I had told a teacher I didn't understand what they, she was think, teaching in class, all she said to me was, why are you even in this class? After that, all I could think about was how she made me feel like I was too stupid to be in her class, much less school. After I dropped out, I did nothing for a whole year. I hated it. I wasn't going anywhere or doing anything. I saw my friends succeeding and going places, and I still wanted that. But I was afraid I'd be so far behind. I saw my, um, I went from failing seventh to dropping out in tenth. I knew I'd just end up back in the same place. My boyfriend, who had been at Clearview for five years, told me how great Clearview was and how much it would help me to catch up. He was someone who actually seemed to care, and I had hoped there was more people like that at Clearview. My first day at Clearview was one of the greatest days of my life. I was so happy to be somewhere where everyone cared. All the teachers and students were so nice and welcoming. I immediately knew I wanted to be here. Ever since I've, become, ever since I've come to Clearview, I've noticed that all the teachers are so involved with their students and cared about their futures. They always pushed me not to give up and showed me why coming back was worth it. Yes, sometimes they would push me to the limit, but who doesn't? God knows how many times I still want to give up, and that's when that one certain teacher <laughs> will nudge me to remind me of my potential and how I can impact others who may someday be where I am today. These people have showed me why I want to be a teacher someday. After I have my baby, I will be studying at San Jack 
via online classes. Thank you. My name is Brian Belcher. Four years ago, I was in the eighth grade and miserable. I hated school. My grades were mostly D's and F's. School was a, ble was a bleak existence, and to break it and to break the monotony of another boring day at school, being truant on occasion became one of my favorite pastimes. I wasn't likely to get caught because no one at my school cared enough to call my parents. My teachers even seemed more disillusioned with school than me. It seemed like they just wanted to teach the GT kids and tolerated all those who just wanted to sit in their seats like zombies. As long as they didn't cause problems, the teachers ignored them. They did not seem to care about students like me, the students who were intelligent and wanted to learn, but didn't quite fit into the normal classroom environment that was present throughout my intermediate school. But I am an adaptable person. I created new educational goals for myself. I had a plan. I decided to become a high school dropout. Each week I asked my mom, how old do I have to be to drop out of school? I was 14 and ready to give up learning on succeeding in my classes and on myself. I already saw myself as a failure in academics and was positioning myself to become a high school dropout. But then in the last nine weeks of my eighth grade year, all that changed. I came to Clearview. At Clearview, I found teachers who cared, who put in the extra time, attention, and effort that students like me needed. I had teachers who, pre who presented interesting class lectures, had fun activities, and provided the stimulating classroom environment that made me want to learn. Learning was fun again. School was fun again. No longer was a school a burden I had to carry, but a place I wanted to be. It is truly amazing that my four years at Clearview, I've never had a bad teacher. How many students get to say that, they're, that about their high school experience? Of course, there were some that I contacted with more than others, but I never doubted that every teacher cared about me and cared about teaching every student in class. But the teachers are only the beginning of Clearview experience. Everyone contributed to my success in school, such as our librarian. As an avid reader, I checked out many, many books from the library. Unfortunately, I'm not very good at returning them on time. Something that resulted in more than a few firm words from her and calls to my, to my mom begging for her to return the books. She probably thought I was attempting to build my own library at home. But despite my forgetful nature, Ms. Hoffman never let me check out, oh, never refused to let me check out another book. She knew I had a love for reading and she always gave me unconditional support. Today, I have a new educational goal. My goal is to go to medical school and I will start at Sand Jack in the fall. With college and medical school and residency pro programs, I'm only about halfway through my education. I know that teaching is a hard job and I'm sure teachers sometimes wonder if they make a difference. I am proof that you have made a difference in my life. It is because of you, the teachers at Clearview, that I am not a dropout. Please know that, I have made dif that you have made a difference, and I thank each and every one of you. Rock bottom is a cold place to be. Everything seems motionless, the outsides are bleak, and terror rises from within. Hours become years, and days are without light. Each step down hurts more than the last. My name is Jessica Houghton, and this was my reality. I was dwelling in the cave known as Rock Bottom. My family had almost given up on me. I was feeling everything. I had just gotten out of rehab and instantly relapsed, and I was contemplating death. Life was a slow haze, and I was doing nothing to change it. On one of these dreary days, I was sent to the counselor yet again to be evaluated by a school therapist. I gave my usual grunt of disapproval and lack of care, but to my surprise, he was quite impressed with me and told me he knew exactly what would help me. He said it was a school called Clearview. I had heard of Clearview and was not fond of the idea of going. Regardless, I was forced to go and found it different than what I had anticipated. When I walked in on my first day, my first teacher greeted me with a kind smile and talked to me the whole class period. The kids in my other classes would say hi and were excited that I was there. I didn't feel like a complete outsider. I felt like people were happy to have gained a new friend rather than greet a new annoyance. It was a surreal experience for me to feel good in my own skin, but I liked it. This good feeling helped me realize my potential. I ended up doing really well in Clearview. I was on AV honor roll. I'm graduating in top 10%. I'm going to University of Houston next year, and I have a better outlook on life. I made friends and worked hard, and my efforts paid off. 
Gratitude is something important that is most often forgotten. I am thankful for the people who have pushed me to be here and have never allowed me to stumble on my way to success. Without every single tool I needed to climb my way up, I would have fallen down twice the length. I'm thankful for my past experiences because without them, I would not be where I am today. I'm thankful for the many chances I was given to start over. Most of all, I'm thankful that I'm here and well and moving on to a new level of life. Thank you. Oh boy, a lot of people. Can we give another hand for all these teachers? Good afternoon. Courage is what it takes to stand up to others. Courage is what it takes to make your own decisions. Courage is what it takes to succeed, but it also takes courage to sit down and listen. It also takes courage to admit a loss. It will take courage to respect someone others don't. Courage is needed to withstand peer pressure. So what does this mean? Courage is essential in your journey through life. Hi, my name is Khalil Jones, and this is my story. Growing up, I saw my mom struggle, being a single parent, trying to do her best to raise my brothers and sisters and I. Sometimes she would be gone, out of town, as far as I knew, but in reality, she was incarcerated because she was doing what she had to do to make an income for my brothers and sisters. I do not fault my mom not one bit for any mistakes that she has committed to feed me and my siblings. When I look at my mom, I see a strong-minded, independent black woman that loved me and my siblings so much that she would risk her freedom just so we would survive. And to this day, she is still an inspiration for my success. Sunday morning, May 16, 2010, I get a very disturbing call from my cousin as I'm about to get on a church bus. She is crying uncontrollably with a very shaky voice. She says, Khalil, it's Isaiah. <laughs> He's gone. Trembling, I couldn't fathom losing my baby brother. It was as if God had literally ripped the blessing out of my life. My heart, my heart hurt so much. I didn't at that time know how I was going to overcome this devastating moment. Every day after that, I motivated myself. That year, my track team went undefeated, and we had 14 gold medals to show for it. <laughs> Instead of me sitting around for something to change my situation, I determined myself to make the best of, out of what I was left with. Although I had lost my youngest brother, I didn't let that tear me apart. Never take anything for granted, because unfortunately, nothing's promised. <laughs> Clearview from some is just another school. For me, it's a place like no other school I've ever been to. From the moment I walked in the doors of Clearview, I was greeted with a warm feeling as if I was a part of a family. I remember it as if it was yesterday. When I walked into Mr. Houston's office, my mother, my brother, and I, we sat down at the round table to talk about my goals in life and whether Clearview was the right place for me. As I left Mr. Houston's office, he gave me a firm military handshake and said, welcome to Clearview. The next day, I reported to class. I felt as if I had gone to the school before. All the students greeted me, and the teachers were the most nicest and sweetest teachers I've ever had. You can truly tell that the teachers care about your future here. At the big high school from which I had transferred, some teachers judge you and stereotype you before you even say a word. And the students, just like every high school, pick and choose their friends. And if you're not a friend of someone, boy, did you get picked on. And that school was a place I had attended my freshman year and was elected class president. But at the end of my junior year, the vibe that it entitled was not for me. I had made up my mind that I wanted to go to the Air Force, just like my uncle who enlisted into the Air Force right after high school. He was such a role model in my life and pushed me to strive for success. Starting this past February, I began my road to destiny at Clearview. 
I'm here to tell you, no matter what people tell you, don't let anybody tell you you can't be someone because of your mistakes in life or your struggles that you've gone through. I had a teacher once tell me I wasn't going to be nothing in life. You need to stop smoking. It was that statement that made me want to prove them wrong. I'm here to tell you that we, class of 2013, proved them all wrong. This is only the beginning. Stay motivated. Continue to pursue your dreams. Your courage determines your future. Remember, never give up. Hello, my name is Jordan Shama. If I could give you words to describe me, they'd be loving, smart, joyful, feisty, and sometimes annoying as heck. In seventh grade, I came here for the small classes and one-on-one -on -one help from the teachers. Over the years, I have seen many things happen to this school. I've seen the dress codes change, I've seen teachers come and go, I've seen a student slam into a wall and create a big hole, I've also seen Mr. Morris in a penguin suit. But the most dramatic change I have seen is how Clearview has changed its students' lives. This school has given troubled students a second chance. But unlike some of the students that may go here, I didn't have a checkered past or a disturbing background. I didn't do drugs, drink, or fight, but I did have other troubles. When I was three years old, I was diagnosed with autism. My mom cried and the doctor said that I probably would never have a normal life. The doctor said that I would never be able to attend public school and that I would never amount to anything in my life. The doctor was wrong. I am second in my class and I am taking class to become a vet tech. And I am in the National Technical Honor Society. Next year, I will be attending San Jack Community classes in vet tech. I can't take all the credit, though. Most of it should go to the teachers, my friends, and my family. They have helped me through so much and have tolerated my antics and issues. So to everyone who has helped and pushed me over the years, I say thank you. I would also like to give special thanks to some special people. My twin, Amber, who has always been there for me, no matter how much a pain in the butt I was. To my mom and dad, who molded me into a good person. So to everyone, I again say thank you. I wouldn't be who I am today without you. My name is Ruben Mejia, and my story began when I first moved to the United States from the Dominican Republic. I started school here in the third grade and I was living in an apartment with my mom that didn't have much. The only people I knew were those who helped us move in and get the apartment. My family that lived here in Houston. It was difficult, I was bullied and I didn't have many friends. My self-esteem was an all-time low. At first it was hard to make new friends in a country that was so culturally different from what I was used to back home. I had almost all of my childhood friends, I had lost all, almost all of my childhood friends and had to make new ones. I was still learning the English language and I was a very shy kid. During the hardships I gained weight and as a result of that I was bullied by other kids at school. I went through some very difficult times and I did things I wouldn't even do now. My language, behavior, and respect for others were far different from what you'd expect of me now. I always wondered, why me? I hit a very low spot in my life. Middle school was tough. By eighth grade I couldn't stand it and my grades were going down. That's when my counselor told me about Clearview. I talked about it with my mom and decided to give it a try. I soon had my interview with the principal and got in. Little did I know though that the former principal was actually the first person of many at Clearview I would meet who was kind, caring, and accepted me for who I was. It took time and it was rough at first, but I gained friends, got in better shape, slowly came out of my shell, and became more confident. I, always, I will always be grateful for the trials that I went through because through them I became the real me. The real me who was always there just buried in pain and sorrow and anger. Thanks to the teachers and staff at Clearview, I learned that being me was okay. I didn't have to blend in. And just as Luke Skywalker learned to believe in the Force, I learned to believe in myself. <laughs> 
I am so grateful for my church, the scouting program, my family, and most of all, my Father in Heaven, for with whom I have become the person I am today. Clearview truly is a place to begin, belong, and become. Thank you. Good afternoon, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, and the graduating class of 2013. Wow, we are here. Clearview seniors, this day is finally here. You are now experiencing one of the most memorable moments of your life so far. So take a deep breath, take it all in. Over the past few days, you have probably begun to reflect upon the various experiences you've had as a student at Clearview. For some of you, those experiences date back to seventh grade. Students like Israel Hernandez, Jordan Trevor Rodriguez, and Jordan Shama know just what I mean. For others, like James Peake and Hannah Bishop, your time just started a few months ago. But despite your time frame at Clearview, one thing is clear. You all were committed to making this day a reality. So what's next? Some of you have already made the decision to join our armed forces and protect our country. Thank you. Some of you will be attending college or technical school, while others of you will be applying the occupational tools you've learned at Clearview to begin a career in fields like cosmetology and nursing. Whatever your individual move may be, we are proud of you. And we acknowledge the years of hard work and perseverance that led you here today. But as you turn the page on this chapter in your life, you must realize there is so much more ahead of you. What if I told you that your capacity for success was directly related to your capacity for service, that your choice to give more will allow you to receive more? You see, you all have talents and gifts to offer this world, and this world needs you. You all have talents, those talents we we'll cultivate at Clearview. Though it may not always be easy or popular, you must give your very best. As you face your future, you will find the courage to be who you are destined to be. Mahatma Gandhi once wrote, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. So get lost. Get lost in helping someone. Get lost in saying something nice to brighten someone's day. Get lost in supporting and improving your community. Each one of you is special, and I am proud and honored to be your principal. Congratulations, and continue to make us proud. <laughs> Dr. Smith, please join me at the podium. Dr. Smith, I hereby certify that these students have successfully completed the course of study as subscribed by the state of Texas. In addition, they have satisfied all the graduation requirements as stipulated by the Board of Trustees of the Clear Creek Independent School District. Thank you, Mr. Houston. We're going to go ahead and do this, if you don't mind. I accept your certification and hereby declare these students as graduates of Clearview High School with all the rights, honors, and privileges appertaining to this degree. Thanks. At this time, we will begin the presentation of diplomas. <laughs> Preston Ray Abbott. <laughs> Justin Matthew Allen.
Justin Ray Arrington. Courtney Louise Barrett. Alfaro Renee Bautista. Brian Temple Belcher. Shelby Daniel Beely. Hannah Joyce Bishop. Molly Ann Bivens. <laughs> Jacob Robert Blanco. Crystal Michelle Bowen. Rachel Carol Cabello. Shannon Holly Callahan. Ricky Thomas Carson. Logan James Conwell. Daniel Allen Decker. Stephanie Ann Duplan. Jacob Paul Eckenrode. Caitlin Renee Englishby. Jackson Wesley Etler, Etzler. Amanda Leanne Ewing. Emily Ann Fernandez. Daniel Franklin Finley. Megan Lachelle Gallegos. Bradley Alexander Galvan. Arnaldo Paredes Gama. Victoria Rebecca Garcia. Sergio Levi Garcia Quiroz. Jillian Elise Gutier. Gabriela Isabel Gomez. Alexis Marie Gonzalez. Itzel Magali Gonzalez. Nathan Edward Grigacy. Jessica Morgan Houghton. Michael Israel Hernandez. Alec Blaine Hines. Caitlin Rose Holiday. Joshua Trayvon Howard. Forrest Caleb Hauser. Robert Jefferson Johnson.
Jennifer Amanda Jones. Talia Charmaine Jones. Kashil Khalil, Khalil Rashid Jones. Courtney Audrea King. Eric Michael Kmetz. Jennifer Suzanne Kuhlman. Samuel Chase Kunkel. Ariana Nicolette Lombardi. Haley Brianna Loper. Martin Hollywood Martinez. <laughs> Sabian Santiago Martinez. <gasps> Hugo Martinez. <laughs> Parker Jean McCormick. Ruben Enrique Mejia. Donato H. Melgoza. Gabriela Sierra Morales. Robert Blake Nichols. Joshua Lafayette Palmer. Caitlin Renee Parker. James Lee Peak. Gabriella Marie Perez. Whitney Joe Potit. Ryan Nicole Ramos. Kiana Yvonne Ray. Alexander Duncan Ryder. Jordan Michael Rodriguez. Trevor Sean Rodriguez. Kayla Lorraine Roy. Trevor DeAndre Russ. <laughs> Meredith Lauren Seal. Jordan Ann Shama. Colin Ray Sheldon. William Arthur Singleton. Brandon Matthew Smith. Maria Irene Solorio. Kendra Sonia Sprouse. Gabriel Adam Storseth. Caitlin Ruth Thomas. Tori Nicole Torres. Ethan Chase Torres. Andrew Dylan Tovar. Herbert Josephat Tovar. Alexander Eric Van Damme. Elena Mariah Vega. Jessica Eliza Wasson. 
Aaron Tyler Watson. Amber Whitney Ware. Christopher John Ross Willett. Tyler Allen Wilson. St. John Ellis Woodell. Jonathan Wade Young. Michael Edward Sam. I am Kiana Ray, and we are the Clearview graduates of 2013. I know we could ha not have reached this point in our lives without the continuous support of our parents and families, because they have cared enough to push us, get us up in the morning, and keep us going to school. We can finally say we made it. And now it is our turn to go out there and make a major impact on the world that waits for us. Thank you all for the for the important roles you had in getting us to this step in our lives. And thank you for all coming this afternoon to celebrate this momentous occasion with us. And now we, one last word from Mr. Houston. Class 2013 graduates, please stand. At this time, move your tassel to the right, signifying your new status as alumnus of Clear Creek ISD's Clear View High School. I would like to leave you with these words by an unknown author. The poem reads, one song can spark a moment, one flower can wake the dream, one tree can start a forest, one bird can herald the spring. One smile begins a friendship, one hand clasp lifts a soul. One star can guide a ship at sea, one word can frame the goal. One boat can change a nation, one sunbeam lights a room. One candle wipes out darkness, one laugh will conquer gloom. One step must start each journey, one word must start each prayer. One hope will raise our spirits, one touch can show you care. One voice can speak with wisdom. One heart can know what's true. One life can make the difference. You see, it's up to you. Congratulations and all the best to you, the Clearview Class of 2013. You're done. This concludes our graduation ceremony. Thank you.